Welcome back my dudes to a drift garage, well soon to be having a garage I hope. Um, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be just servicing the BMW but specifically we're engine flushing it and seeing if the rumours about seafoam are true and uh, it's a bit windy, my hair's going everywhere but um, basically the go with seafoam is I've looked at Project Farm, they've done a video on seafoam and basically how good it is um, and it, quote unquote unbiased tests um, which I find are pretty accurate but Mr. Scotty Kilmer the man himself the, the old the old mechanic man he says it's fucked so um basically we're here to do a test ourselves use some seafoam we're here to use some seafoam ourselves right here in this box got quite a few bottles both for this car and another car the Impreza um, we're here to and what else? We're doing spark plugs, but easy I think, because um, it's an inline six, not a V8 or like a boxer. Absolute garbage when you have to do it on a V8 or a boxer. It's pretty hard. But um, as you can tell, she's a little bit filthy at the moment. She's on the jacks and everything. We got everything back here. Oil wise, it's a bit hard to see because of the lighting, but we've got everything back here. And um, well, well, basically we'll get straight into it. Um, if you haven't seen on my Instagram. Um, sneak peek at uh, the soon to hope to be the garage right here you know hope this to be soon a nice mad ass garage for us to really use because um, well we need a better working space and you know I'm fully invested into trying to make this shit happen you know because I mean don't take your shot your shot's not gonna land it's so simple you gotta take the shot in the first place. So I mean, here we go, sending it. Um, yeah. All right, let's get to it. And if you guys haven't seen already, I made this little mad thing in my spare time. Cool little thing to drag out from the little shed from time to time to do work like this. It's mad, eh? I love it. Dickhead. Got you. And, uh, bit of a bit of a cut in you know but if you're not aware um i'm just quickly checking the brakes as well if you're not aware of the specs on the brakes the minimum disc um thickness is 20.4 millimeters anything below that you can't get resurfaced um or reuse it so yeah just letting you know that as for the oil change what i'm going to be doing is just putting like a it's a camera angle is a bit bad putting a funnel above an old bottle i have old oil bottle Using that, pretty easy with the. I'll show you. Uh, oh, there. Oh, with a 90 angle impact. Long boy. Nice and easy. A little bit of a spillage, but not too bad. Definitely could have been worse. And while that's going off, we're gonna do the spark plugs and hopefully get the spark plugs done. And it shouldn't be too hard, I hope. Oh, fucker, that was the oil cap. Oh. I bought some laser platinum NGK premium sparkle puggy boys and I'll be sending it. Send it if I'm correct. These only get torqued to about 20 newton meters. Not much at all, not much at all. So basically three, basically three quarters of a turn total. Not much at all, not much at all. So we don't need the torque wrench for these ones. I was working on an LS not too long ago, and we did. There we go, all right. As you can see, she looks really dry and unhappy. 
So I'm thinking um, we've got a bit of a lean mixture going, um, which I'm a bit worried about. So we're going to have to check on that in the logs, but I don't really have a tool for that. So um, I'm kind of hoping this does the job, as well as this uh, seafoam clean will fix it up because um, this ain't the best. I'm back. So we've done the plugs, we've done the, um, oh, put the wheels back on, check the calipers, everything's back on for the ignition coil setup, etc. Clean the math, from, maybe, uh, I think there's some oil de debris from the aeroflow filter. All I've got to do now is change the oil filter at the top here, fill it with oil, and is that it? I think that's it. I wasn't recording. Um, these filters quite literally just pop out, so easy. And don't forget to replace the o-ring down here. It's easy to do it with a screwdriver, but it. So we've got a variety of sea foam as I showed you before. We're going to be using some high mileage because this has got 350,000 kilometers on it. So we're going to be adding about half of this to our system. We can do our little. Thing I made you go. So next, we have got one of these ones, top engine cleaner. Basically, we're going to spray the whole bottle in after the engine's So work. Here's a before and after. We used the foam in our engine. Before, you can hear a major valve lash problem, major tick in the valve train. Um, I think it was, there was gunk stuck in some of the lifters because um, when uh, oil pressure was um, high, it would go away. And when it was low, it would come back. So the car's at operating temp now. It's still flying a little bit of white smoke. Um, that's to be expected, I think, from the videos I've watched. And, um, well, it starts spraying, I suppose. Now here's an after, and you can hear that valve tick's definitely going away. As you can tell, there's no ticking. Well, there's a tiny tick, but it's a lot better than before, that's for sure. So, I mean, it's raining, rain, storming, fucking piece of shit. Now, uh, I'll talk to you inside, basically. And see you guys next time. Definitely was worth it. You can tell, there's no ticking. Well, there's a tiny... Well, as you can see, Steam Foam did a pretty decent job at cleaning the M52 in the E36. And would I recommend it? Yeah, I'd probably use it again. However, I might try and find a cheaper option that does a pretty similar, uh, I'd say, result. Because uh, it was a bit expensive. The whole package um, was about 100 bucks uh, AU. Um, for both cars, it was 200 So it's, it's a bit expensive to do that. Um, so if I could find the cheaper option, I would, but would I recommend it again? I definitely would. Um, it seemed to have definitely quieted down the murder quite a bit. Made it sound a little bit healthier, at least. Um, and then, well, I mean, as for updates and stuff, this is, I mean, it's just a bit more of an update, updated kind of, like, style video. Just get just clickbait bullshit. You know, you know the drill. YouTube. But as you guys saw, hoping to get the garage up and nice and kind of ready to go sooner rather than later so we have a nice kind of workshop space and some of the videos that I've previously shown like the workshop uh sorry the workbench build um I, that's kind of style of videos I want to get into more it's just I need to get slightly better equipment camera equipment specifically as well as a more designated space to do so with it because um outside in the sun on just a slab is kind of shit um and you know I hope to see you get that and Provide more updates in the future with that. I won't be providing as much content probably within the next three to six months as I'm focusing on this build. Um, and so, yeah. Oh, and I mean, as for updates with the cars and stuff, um, so the BMW, when the garage is fully built and everything, it's going to be basically uh, the service I did today is basically just a keep it nice and healthy and running until the, that sheds up and basically strip it apart, rip it apart, 
and just restore the hell out of it make it a really solid show rep daily car you know no turbo or anything it's gonna have hopefully um um gonna have some right hand drive itbs custom made from the usa that's the plan at least um cam you know just basic shit like a really kind of basic build no no not overly shit we're adding some reinforcement plates bodywork you know there's, there's a whole the whole bazanga is going to be done to it but in order for that to happen we need to work on the workshop and there'll be less content less whatever you know you get the you guys get the gist of it so, i mean i appreciate you guys that have you know watched enjoy my content and um much love and hope to see you guys soon in the future and provide you with more updates on how the workshops coming along so much love peace out my dude